Picture this, a time when black and white flickers on the screen held the power to transport us into worlds unknown. In that cinematic realm, where characters etched themselves into the collective memory, there stood Karen Morley, a figure that, for many, ignited the spark of recognition long before social media bestowed fame in the blink of an eye. Chances are, you recall that precise moment when Morley's face, a classic silhouette against the monochrome canvas, imprinted itself in your consciousness. Perhaps it was a dimly lit living room, the faint crackle of static in the air, as an old television set hummed to life. Or maybe it was the local theater, where you sank into worn velvet seats, engrossed in a plot that unfolded with Morley at its heart. For some, Karen Morley isn't just a name, she's a thread woven into the fabric of nostalgia. There's a subtle joy in reminiscing about the emotions she stirred, the stories she brought to life. It's the kind of sentiment that lingers, akin to the warmth of a favorite blanket on a winter's day. Now, as we navigate the vast expanse of time, let's shine a light on the lesser known facets of Karen Morley. Beyond the celluloid frames and scripted dialogues lies a tapestry of random facts, each thread contributing to the portrait of a woman who left an indelible mark on the golden age of Hollywood. So, buckle up for a journey into the past, a trip down memory lane that's both familiar and unexplored. Join us as we uncover the layers of Karen Morley, the actress who brought characters to life in the flickering shadows of yesteryear. And now, without further ado, let the exploration begin random facts about Karen Morley await, like hidden treasures waiting to be unearthed. In the golden age of Hollywood, one luminary who graced both the silver screen and the tumultuous corridors of American politics was the enigmatic Karen Morley. Born on December 12, 1909, in Ottawa, Iowa, Morley's journey was anything but ordinary. Her entree into the world of cinema was a serendipitous encounter with director Charles Brabin leading her to sign a contract with MGM in 1931. What followed was a meteoric rise that set her apart not only for her on-screen charisma, but also for her resilience and activism. While her contemporaries reveled in glamorous roles, Morley's daring spirit led her to parts that defied conventions. In the pre-code era, she fearlessly tackled societal issues in films like Night World and Inspiration. Morley wasn't just an actress, she was a trailblazer pushing boundaries and challenging the status quo. Off screen, she was a prominent figure in the Screen Actors Guild, ardently advocating for actors' rights and fair treatment, a commitment that often brought her at odds with the studio system. However, Morley's career took an unexpected turn when her political convictions clashed with the rising tide of McCarthyism. In the early 1950s, her refusal to testify before the House on american Activities Committee led to her blacklisting. Unbowed, she embraced a new calling academia. Morley pursued a master's degree in urban planning at UCLA, using her intellect to contribute to the betterment of society. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, Morley's life was a tapestry of rich experiences. Her voracious appetite for knowledge and her passion for social justice marked her as a unique figure in an era dominated by conformity. Her autobiography, More Than a Woman, unveiled not only the struggles of a blacklisted actress, but also the resilience of a woman who refused to be confined by societal expectations. As the years passed, Morley's contributions were acknowledged. In 1999, the Screen Actors Guild recognized her indomitable spirit, posthumously bestowing upon her the Ralph Morgan Award for her service to the Guild and the industry. Karen Morley's legacy is one of courage, intellect, and a relentless pursuit of justice. In an industry that often prioritized surface glamour over substance, Morley stood as a beacon of authenticity. Her life story reminds us that the most compelling narratives extend beyond the celluloid and into the fabric of societal change. Karen Morley, a Hollywood star who vanished in the annals of Hollywood history, Karen Morley's career took an unusual turn. Born to the spotlight, she was a prominent actress during the early days of MGM, but her path diverged dramatically from the typical Hollywood trajectory. Morley's MGM career once held promise. She appeared in several films during the 1930s, showcasing her talent and beauty. However, her personal life began to overshadow her professional one. She married director Charles Vidor, a rising star in Hollywood at the time. This choice did not sit well with the public, who expected leading ladies to marry leading men. Her status as an ingenue began to wane. 
and she found herself relegated to smaller roles. The situation only became more complex when she married Vidor. The industry's perception of Morley shifted, and her career trajectory took a hit. While Hollywood often had a preference for its stars marrying within the industry, Morley's union with Vidor was seen as a snub to prettier starlets and altered her image. By the late 1930s, her career had dwindled. But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of Morley's life was her abrupt disappearance from the Hollywood scene. After testifying before the Senate committee hearing alongside her second husband, Lloyd Goh, with whom she shared leftist views, both dropped off the radar. Goh eventually made a comeback in the 1960s, but Morley did not. The enigmatic nature of Morley's retreat from Hollywood has left many questions unanswered. What happened to this once promising star? Why did she and Go vanish from public view while her husband returned to the limelight? These questions remain shrouded in mystery, adding an extra layer of intrigue to Karen Morley's already unusual Hollywood story. In a twist of fate, Morley had even been considered for a role in the 2003 film Duplex, starring Drew Barrymore. It would have marked her fifth collaboration with a member of the Barrymore family. However, her grandson inexplicably refused to let her audition, leaving us to wonder what might have been. Karen Morley's story serves as a reminder of the unpredictable nature of fame and the complexities of Hollywood's golden age. Her career may have taken an unexpected turn, but her legacy endures as a testament to the ever-shifting sands of the entertainment industry. Karen Morley, a prominent figure in Hollywood's golden era, faced a significant turning point in her career due to the Hollywood blacklist during the McCarthy era. Originally known for her roles as a pretty starlet and ingenue, Morley's life took a different course. Her career was effectively ruined around 50 years ago when she was targeted by the Hollywood blacklist. In 1954, Karen Morley ran as a candidate for the American Labor Party in New York for the position of lieutenant governor. However, her campaign proved unsuccessful. Despite this, Morley continued to be an active left-wing activist, particularly in the San Francisco area. One notable aspect of Morley's personal life is that she had one child, a son named Michael Carroll Vidor, who was born on August 26, 1933. Tragically, Michael passed away at the age of 66 on March 30, 2000, in East Sound, located on Orcas Island, Washington. In December 1999, when Morley was already in her 90 seconds, she made a significant appearance in Vanity Fair. This photo shoot featured her alongside other surviving victims of the Hollywood blacklist, shedding light on the dark period in Hollywood history when many careers were unjustly affected. Karen Morley's life journey from Hollywood starlet to political candidate and left-wing activist is a testament to her resilience and the impact of the McCarthy era on the entertainment industry. Despite the challenges she faced, Morley remained an enduring figure in history. Karen Morley, Hollywood's multifaceted star Karen Morley, a prominent figure in the golden era of Hollywood, made her mark not only for her acting prowess, but also for her intriguing personal life. Born on December 12, 1909, in Ottawa, Iowa, she ventured into the world of cinema in the early 1930s, leaving a lasting legacy that is still remembered today. Hollywood folklore has it that Morley's breakthrough came in 1931 when she auditioned alongside established actors for a role in Greta Garbo's movie, Inspiration. Her audition was so convincing that director Clarence Brown cast her in a significant role. This catapulted her into the spotlight, marking the beginning of her successful career in the film industry. Morley's personal life was equally fascinating. She had a son named Michael with her first husband, Charles Vidor. This family aspect of her life added depth to her persona, showing that she was not just a Hollywood star but also a mother. One of the most intriguing aspects of Morley's life was her political affiliation. While she was a lifelong liberal Democrat, she always considered herself a communist. This dual identity raised eyebrows in the tumultuous political climate of her time. Her unwavering commitment to her beliefs made her a controversial figure in Hollywood. In summary, Karen Morley's journey in Hollywood was marked by her unforgettable audition for inspiration, her role as a mother to her son Michael, and her complex political identity. Her life and career continue to be a subject of interest and discussion in the world of cinema and politics. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the illustrious career of Karen Morley, I invite you to pause for a moment of introspection. Think about the moments when you first encountered her on screen 
the emotions stirred by her performances, and the lasting impact she has had on your cinematic experience. Karen Morley was not just an actress. She was a storyteller who etched her presence onto the silver screen with an undeniable charisma. Whether it was her captivating performances in classics like Scarface, or her memorable roles in the golden era of Hollywood, Karen Morley left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Now, it's your turn to be part of this narrative. Share your cherished memories, thoughts, and insights about Karen Morley's performances. Let her legacy live on through the stories and sentiments you hold dear. In a world where time often blurs the lines between the past and the present, Karen Morley's work endures as a testament to the enduring power of art. She continues to resonate with audiences across generations, reminding us that great performances are timeless. Thank you for taking the time to reflect on the remarkable career of Karen Morley. Your appreciation keeps her spirit alive in the hearts of many. So, let your thoughts flow and your memories shine as we celebrate the enduring impact of this extraordinary artist on the world of entertainment.